I just quit my job as a chartered accountant. Mm, that does not happen, guys. Um, I just said that because I recently saw a post like this that was saying that I got fired from my job as a chartered accountant let me just clarify something that was after the layoff video and you know after even after the layoff video i was only out of work for like two weeks and i, I got a new job which i then quit today but you don't quit life as a chartered accountant you don't quit your job as a chartered accountant because a chartered accountant is like being say like if someone says like you can cook you can quit several jobs or several chef jobs or wait waitress jobs but you can't say i quit i quit cooking or something like that like being a chartered accountant is a sign that you possess a certain a certain set of skills which is uh you know financial accounting management accounting auditing taxi tax auditing and taxation so you can never really be fired from being a ca unless you do something that is like against the integrity or against the core principles of being a chartered accountant that the organization which registered chartered accountants can say you are no longer one of us but they can never really fire you as a chartered accountant so i just wanted to clarify that and just come here and say today is my last working day no yesterday was <laughs> let's just say today it was my last working day i'm currently in the beautiful matopos and uh i just thought to do this video just for the new v whatever whatever just reviewing the last two years of me being a channel content i've been asked is it worth it um and i thought i should come on here and do a video about is being a ca worth it So I'm going to look at the financial aspect. My earnings rose exponentially after I qualified as a CA. I think my earnings was 10 times or something like that. So if part of the reason of that is also that I was being underpaid. <laughs> is that ca students are underpaid but you get what you get the gist um my earnings rose exponentially and i, I do think in that respect it was worth it it has been worth it to a couple of people around me i don't know anyone who is a ca who earns less than 1500 net so i think in terms of earnings it is worth it number two in terms of skill yes it was worth it because being a ca provides you with your best line of skills uh, how to manage people how to do accounting how to do management accounting how to you know do your taxes audit that best line of skills it was worth it in terms of you know being able to do things and being proud you know to know that i can do my value the value that i bring to a place the value that i bring to an organization is the fact that i can do a b c d and i can help the organization with this and this and this so in terms of skills yes it was worth it then in terms of exposure yes it was worth it i've worked in the u.s i've worked in the netherlands i've worked in the uk i've uh, i've worked in zimbabwe i've worked in south africa so in terms of the exposure and the places that you can get to work in, I don't know a lot of careers or opportunities that give you that option to be able to move geographically while still offering the same service or the same skill. Then in terms of, uh, I wanted to also talk about marketability. Uh, ICAS recently released a report to say, if I'm not mistaken, one in every two CAs or one in every three CAs is out of the country. That means that the institution's um, qualification is marketable. You can go, you really, the sky is the limit. You can go and explore the world and see the world and leave the world from different aspects. There are CAs in the UK, US, in the islands, South Africa, everywhere, just CAZ. So that marketability is there. Uh, are there ways that I feel like being a CA was not worth it? For me, coming from the background that I come from, where we don't even know what a CA is, I'll always count the wins of being a ca was worth that for me but that's because of my background but i think that answer would be different for my child because of 
the life that i can give them and the options that they have so for me coming from my background yes it was worth it are there things that i wish i had done differently yes the first thing that i would say i would do differently is recognizing that being a ca is like passing form six like passing form four like passing at university it gives you a best so it puts you into this group of people that have this best of skills but still you need to really think and sit down and look at goals short term long term what is it that you want to be and what is it that you want to do because at the end of the day is a starting point i wish people told me this that it was a starting point well people really did tell me but i just didn't believe it but it is a starting point what happens after you get that email that admits you into membership will make after two years like now i have friends that are finance executives i have friends that are still older seniors i have friends that are now managers so how you then maneuver post receiving that email determines how what the qualification can do for you so uh before you even get the qualification or even just soon as you get the qualification getting the qualification is not the core you need to have clear goals of what do you want the qualification to do for you so that you can always have that in the back of your mind as you make decisions and as you move forward uh then the number two thing uh that i would have done differently i don't think i would have done anything fundamentally different because the parts that took me where i was going took me there because i needed to be there and everything has worked out as you know i'm taking just a little uh break before i start the next chapter of my life uh which has mostly mostly nothing to do with being a ca but i'm just uh i i just wanted to come on here to also encourage the young cas that are qualifying to say also, just don't look at leaving Zimbabwe as the only option. There are so many things that the qualification can do for you. You need to sit down and figure out what is it that you want the qualification to do for you and find people that will help you to make the qualification do those things for you i hope this video was useful i just wanted to come on here and say i will no longer be creating ca content i think i've offered you guys how much ca is mac how much what they do and whatever oh the money video is coming next week but i wanted to publish this one to celebrate my two-year anniversary of being a ca and um, to also just let you know that i'm out of my job and um uh, after that money video that's gonna be the last video about being a ca and then i hope that either i will move with you guys into the next chapter of my life or it'll be the end of this channel i don't really know what i want to do with that uh today but i'll probably figure it out in the next coming weeks so thank you so much for stopping by on my channel don't forget to subscribe in case we are transitioning into something that you will be interested in by the way my name is Maud. I'm a CA working and living in Zimbabwe one last time. Bye. <laughs> That's gorgeous.